So we look on the villages, village after village, it was burned down. There's nothing but chimneys standing. Mm, and you're passing these? Yeah, we're passing these. Wow. Only the, the points, like bigger towns of places of importance by the railroad where Germans held, mm. they were still intact. Mm. But in between, everything was desolate. Wow. Uh, and it was done by SS Army mm. uh, with the purpose of uh, smoking out somehow the, the resistance, mm. which did not work. We came to this one village and there was a German soldier. And uh, we were all thirsty. So he showed us where the water was. How did he know that you weren't antagonistic? Well, he, he could, he could, partisan wouldn't walk out in the village and mm. walk out to your arm like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was, uh, there was a certain understanding. So you asked for water? Yeah. He supplied us with, with water, everybody, mm. people and animals that had water to drink. Mm. And we kept on walking. By the end of the day, we got to the place called Kapsevichi. And the rains returned. Mm -hmm. And it poured rain all night. Mm -hmm. We stayed in this house. I don't know whose house it was. Not far from the railroad tracks. And early in the morning, I had to... I had to... The train arrived, and, and we had to prepare what to take. Mm -hmm. And so all the animals had to be slaughtered, and mm. meat had to be packaged and mm. scrambled for salt and to salt the meat and to put the meat in the sacks and and then you have to sit on those sacks mm -hmm. all the way to Poland. Mm -hmm. It was, and of course the. The most dramatic time for me was to say goodbye to my grandfather on my father's side. That was my last time I saw him. He didn't go on the train? No. He chose not to? He chose not to. He was a, a widower and he was remarried in 1938. Mm -hmm. And he would not abandon his wife. She refused to come. Mm -hmm. So he went back. So he, the, the ox we had and the cow, we slaughtered those. And the horse, we had the horse. He took the horse mm -hmm. and wagon back to, mm -hmm. to Petrico. Mm -hmm. And he stayed there until the Soviets took over the city. Mm -hmm. And he did not return back to the village. He went to Western Belarus towards Poland. Mm -hmm where he worked on collective farm and apparently died there. Mm. Wow. My father pleaded with him to come with us and, mm. and he would, would not. Mm. He in a way felt that he would be a burden to us instead of help. And his conscience would not allow him to abandon his, mm -hmm. his wife. Mm -hmm. He was an honorable man. Mm. What time of day did you all get on the train? What kind of day? What time of day? The train took off probably by about 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So did it wait that whole time while you were... It, it was a cattle train. With cattle in it? No. Oh, okay. It was empty. Oh, so they sent an empty train to take all of yeah, it? Yeah, it was a 
supply train that took supplies for German forces. Got it. And was coming back to Poland. Got it. 